I think we need to pull professionals together at, at a table and say, how can we lift this veil of confidentiality to help better assist our children? The majority of these cases are not that serious, but they're keeping them confidential, they say, for, to protect the children, right? But in the really bad cases, where children are sexually abused, physically abused, and it's just really bad circumstances, those go to criminal court. And those aren't kept confidential. The names are redacted. And they're open to the public. So what the, what the youth court has right now is a system where they're able to keep confidential all the close calls that could go either way. All the close calls that, you know, aren't so clear cut that people might have a problem with. That's what they're being able to keep confidential. And there, there's just no reason for that other than to protect the court and, and the system itself. You know, I, I have come to conclude that the confidentiality is, is, has created a system of no accountability. It's not just me trying to point the finger at DHS. Every part of the system accountable. Youth court accountable. But I think they'd make a lot less mistakes if people were paying attention, if people could know what happens. Because right now, we can talk to y'all, but DHS can't comment on our case. So you're just listening to a parent tell their story. We could be telling the truth. We could not be. I mean, that's what it is. And we sound the same as every other parent, even the bad ones. Because guess what? They say they shouldn't have taken my kids. Everybody says that, whether they should have or they shouldn't have. And because DHS can't comment, and because the court isn't open, no, nobody listens to us when something really wrong has happened, you know? And our kids are actually being harmed, not saved. The more the public understands about the youth court, the more I think they understand why confidentiality in most cases is important. Youth court records have long been sealed. And there's a good reason for that because it involves minors and what they hope, particularly with um, delinquency proceedings, is that that record won't follow him into adulthood or her into adulthood. Oh, because it's, we're, we're opening the floodgates. We're not protecting kids. They're going to be, their identities are going to be released. It's just the worst thing in the world. And, you know, reasonable people can um, disagree because you know, I, 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 can, I can tell you that ne uh, not all youth court judges are going to agree with me. When you say that uh, abuse and neglect is opened up to the press, to the public, for people to talk about, I think the main people we're hurting are the children. There's a real reaction that, you know, we're protecting children. They're already traumatized enough by being in foster care versus everybody they go to school with, they go to church with, their friends, knowing what's happened to them. And until we start a discussion of why is it and can we do better, it's, it's going to continue the way it is.